Hey guys, welcome back to Think Making. I'm Anton and today I'll be reviewing some PLA by Tactink. So let's get to it. Okay, so this is nothing special. It's just some cheap PLA I bought on Amazon. I'm used to buying Hatchbox or Eason when I want some PLA, but I decided I would give some of this expensive brands a try. This PLA is by a Chinese brand named Tactink, and it can run for as low as 16 bucks. Now that's cheap. I got mine a couple of months ago, so presentation has changed a bit, but it still comes vacuum sealed for protection against moisture. The spool has plenty of holes to see how low on filament you are and to hold its end. The winding on the filament is okay, it's not super straight nor tight, but okay. The filament itself is very smooth and handles flexing pretty well. And the diameter's consistency is impressive for a filament at this price tag. But cheap isn't good enough if it doesn't print nicely, so let's see how well it prints. As always, I printed a calibration cube, a Marvin, and a 3D Benchy as calibration prints. Using my Cetus 3D, I found 195 degrees to be a great printing temperature and its grippy build plate great for adhesion. However, this may vary for you. And let me tell you, I was impressed by the results. The calibration cube printed perfectly, on par with more expensive brands I've tried. The Marvin came out very nice, without any imperfections. And that Benchy, oh my god, that has to be one of the nicest, smoothest, sharpest Benchies I've printed. It was just perfect. So knowing that this filament was good at anything, I printed some things that might look cool in blue. I started off with this Roctopus, which again came out perfect. It is super nice and smooth. Then I printed this Squirtle from Floralistics Collection, which was also very nice and showed me that rafts and supports are easy to remove. Next I printed some geometric shapes, although something happened here. I'm sure this was a slicing issue, but at least some of them were unaffected and show how well this filament handles bridging. Finally I printed this vase. And damn this filament is smooth, layers look super consistent and even. In conclusion, this cheapy PLA by Tactic is outstanding. It isn't super tough, it doesn't withstand explosions, nor it contains copper, but it prints amazingly well at a very low price. If you want to pick a couple of rolls for yourself, I'll leave an Amazon link down in the description, along with all the designs I featured in this video. Also remember to tag Think Making in Instagram or Twitter to get a chance to get your creations featured. If there's a filament you want me to review, leave it in the comments section down below. Well guys, I hope you found this video helpful. If you did and if you enjoyed it, go ahead and smash that like button. And if you loved it, feel free to support me through Patreon or by buying some cool stuff in my merch store like this t-shirt. If you don't want to miss any of my videos, don't forget to subscribe. And if you're wondering what to watch next, check out these videos. Again guys, thanks for watching and see you in the next one.